All right, so today I am going ice fishing. Just kidding, I'm not. I'm in Nebraska though. It's like 40 degrees. We heard about a pond that is open and it's it's right down yonder. It's open. Um, the water's probably 35, 40 degrees. I was ice fishing yesterday with him and uh, yeah, like I said, there's a pond that we heard about that's open. The last time we were here, we got his truck stuck. It's not, that's not what you want to see. Not sure if you guys remember that or not, but we're at the same spot. This, this pond, this pond is, uh, it's a pretty good little pond. There's not a ton of big ends in there, um, but there's a lot of numbers. So we're going to do our best to apply my winter fishing cold water tactics and catch some fish. Yep, that's ice. So, there's uh, this is open. Down there is actually like, probably ice you can maybe stand on. But it's really, really clear. This is, like I said, this is ice. So, the water is cold, really cold. I'm gonna be fairly impressed if we actually catch some. Not that I'm doubting my fishing skills or anything, but it's pretty tough to catch bass when it's this cold if you're not actually ice fishing. Cause I think about ice fishing, you're jigging your minnow or whatever just in one area. This is actually reeling stuff in, so I'm gonna get my stuff situated. I'll show you what I've got tied on. I've got a spinner bait, a jerk bait, a little thin square bill, and a shaky head and a Sanko. Probably gonna start off with with the jerk bait. Jerk bait's a pretty pretty much a go-to for me anytime you're fishing like this cold. I'm gonna go start with the jerk bait. Maybe throw the spinner bait, drag it on the bottom. You know, slow slow roll it, stuff like that. Hopefully, hopefully we catch some fish. Oh yeah, and and we're going for cats, right? You're gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna try to catch catfish with liver. There's some uh, there's some massive cats in here. So that's something I've never really done is catch some big cats. I'm hoping that hoping that we can at least catch one. We've got about three and a half to four hours to fish before I gotta take off and head back home. I'm about two hours from my house right now, and uh, I've got some meetings later today. So enjoy the video. Okay, I'm starting out with the little jerk jerk bait action here. I'm just gonna go. Walk down yonder, walk the edge of the ice here. I haven't, I feel like I haven't cast one of these in freaking years. Oh, I didn't backlash, that's a, that's a real surprise. So anytime you're fishing in this cold, ideally you wanna give the jerk bait the longest pause possible, like sometimes 30 seconds to a minute, which sounds just absolutely awful. It's pretty painful for, for me to do personally, but you know, I came here to catch some fish. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do here is just do a couple jerks. Every once in a while, just let sit there, let the fish come to the jerk bait, catch the fish. Well, as you guys can see, I'm getting quite a bit of vegetation. I don't think this jerk bait's this jerk bait's not going to cut it, at least in this area of the pond. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back, grab maybe maybe my shaky head. There we go, boys. First fish of the day. Open water. Look what Skyler got. Nice, dude. Open water fish. That was on like a little little crawfish. Yeah, it's just kind of slowly dragging on the bottom, windblown cove. What's the uh, what's the name of the first fish of the year for you? Open water fish, I should say. See you, Bobby. Look at that. Nice work. All right, we got one, one fish down. We're starting to get them figured out. Well, I'm walking to the other side right now. We're going to the windblown side. Not sure if that's any better, but. It can't be any worse than the side I was just on because I didn't catch anything. All right, let's figure out what I'm doing with my life here. You don't happen to have any drop shot weights, do you? Not any drop shot, just split shot. What do you have for like regular hooks? Oh, okay. Just, Just like worm hooks? I've got some, they're just a little like, they're made for like flipping. How big of split shots do you have? You got any like good sized ones? I can't believe I'm throwing this, but we'll go for it and see, see how she does. Oh, I got one. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I got one. First cast, come on. Is he still there? Oh! Oh wow, I was texting, I was not paying any attention. That's a good sign. Wow, 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 Flair, wow. All right guys, you guys are watching, don't do that. Don't sit on your phone while you're fishing. 
you don't get anything done. That was first cast with this rig. If, once I catch one, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. This is the most ridiculous rig I've ever thrown in my entire life. This is something that I would, uh, I would concoct when I was like, probably like eight years old, seven years old. Basically, I just don't have the right equipment to fish the way I want to fish, so I'm just kind of rigging it the best that I can. There's a bite. Yep, got him. Come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. Stay on, stay on, stay on. I'm using like a 7.3 medium light rod, so I'm just kind of bringing these fish in as quick as possible. I don't know how good of a hook that I got on. <laughs> baby. First open water fish, 2017, son. Were, oh my, dude, this fish is frozen. Oh, dude, I think I just dialed him in. Look at that. It's not, he's literally not even hooked. First fish right there. Not a giant by any means, but we're literally catching bass when there's ice on the lake. This is a, this is pretty freaking awesome. I'm, I'm excited. I like bass fishing. It's kind of fun. See you later, Pablo. Woo! First fish, open water fish 2017. Let's go, baby. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. It's basically a redneck drop shot. It's gonna be called the flare drop shot. I'm actually, I'm patenting this, patent pending, the flare drop shot. So what you do is you take a, basically a regular worm hook, not a drop shot hook. Normally you would think you'd want a small lightweight drop shot hook. Nope, you want the biggest freaking flipping hook that you have. And uh, you wanna put a little creature bait on there. And then instead of going the traditional way of getting drop shot weights, you just throw a couple split shots on there. You know, it's the same thing. Throw a couple split shots on there, grab the, uh, the incorrect hook and rig it rig it just like a drop shot and then also make sure you're fishing it on a very light rod um, because with a thick wire hook like that you want the lightest rod possible so you make sure that you don't get the hook inside the fish that right there is the flare drop shot and so far it's working i caught one fish on it and i missed another one and i'm about to catch another all right see if i can catch another one so you cast it out there we're on kind of a wind blown cove and uh, another tip is to get your phone out and just start texting so you don't move the bait at all. It's literally just floating there, um, kind of going with, going with the wind and the waves and the water. And the fish are just picking it up. That last one, he just nicked it. It felt like someone just grabbed my rod and just tapped it, and he was there. Got one. Oh, yeah, dude, that's three for three. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, let's go. Stay on there, big guy. I got weeds with him. He's feeling, feeling decent. Yeah, buddy. Come here, son. Woo! Look at that. We got some salad. Salad with that bass. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I actually got the hook through that guy. That's good. I'm glad I'm glad I actually hooked him. This is crazy. I cannot believe we're actually catching fish. It took us so long. Shout out to Skyler for uh, getting dialed in first. He caught him on something similar to what I'm throwing. And then I just kind of modified it a little bit. And this is the freaking juice. All right. See you later, Jerome. The rod I'm using is actually one of my favorite drop shot rods, which is why I'm using it. Um, like I said, it's not the best rod for exactly what I'm doing, and the only reason why is because of the hook. I'm not using the correct hook. I'm literally using a hook that you would use when you're like flipping in bushes and stuff like that. Um, so if you're trying to actually drop shot, this is a great rod. It's nice and long. It's got a long, long bend to it. It's a, it gets a 7.3 medium light, moderate, fast action. So it's a great drop shot. So if you guys are actually trying to do this technique correctly, I would suggest this rod for sure. Otherwise, if you're gonna do it flare style, uh, just make sure you get a little something a little stiffer, something like medium, not quite so, not medium light. Just you get a little bit better hookup ratio that way. Ooh, that's a fish. Yep, yep, come on buddy, yes. There we go, another fish here. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down and stay hooked. Come on, Bubba, get in here. There we go. Again on the flare, uh, the flare rig. A little redneck drop shot rig action. That one hooked him pretty good. Another, another pretty, pretty fish, you know, end of, end of January. The water temperature's gotta be no warmer than 35. I mean, there's ice all over this lake. And we are uh, we're catching some fish. This is pretty. This is pretty crazy. Just got another, another little one pounder. Nothing, nothing giant. But like I said, it's uh, late January and catching, catching bass in open water. See you later, Ramon.
There's one. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I had to like run and set the hook on that one. I wasn't ready. Here we go. There's another fish. He was way out in the middle. We're just chucking these little drop shot Carolina rig MacGyver things. And we're chucking it out in the middle and just kind of letting it sit on the bottom. They're just coming to find it. Oh, for sure the biggest one of the day. Wow. That dude is a tank. For sure just broke my PB. Look at that little guy. Just on the, the little flare, flare MacGyver drop shot rig there. She did it. See you later, Catherine. Woo! There's one. Oh, baby. Again, on the phone. It's the phone phone technique. We're on the, uh, the sit on your cell phone pattern. And all of a sudden these dudes just munch it. Woo! That is not a bad one. Barely, just by the skin on this bottom lip. Wow, these fish are cold. Oh my God. This thing is like holding a freaking ice cube. Another fish. I'm just sitting here texting, texting uh, John B and Perrick and Rob, and uh, this little dude decided just to, to munch it. All right, see you later, Zach. Zach, Zach, the, Zach, the water's, the water's that, the water's that way. Zach, don't give up on me. Zach, do you just need some help? Come on, Zach. There you go. Zach's a little slow, but he got it figured out. So we are back in the truck. I got about a two hour drive home. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do a quick little recap and hopefully I can teach you guys something or maybe help you guys catch some fish if you're, still, if you're trying to catch fish like I am, kind of on the struggle bus of uh, winter fishing in the Midwest. So I'm gonna go home and hopefully you guys can learn something. How's it going, Flare Fishing fam? I wanted to do a quick, a quick recap. It will be quick, um, believe me. So I, uh, I was using something a little bit different in this video. It was not supposed to be like that. I mean, like the rig I was using was not rigged correctly, as I said throughout the video. Um, normally, what you want to do is you want to have like a one aught thin wire hook and an actual drop shot weight. I mean, you can use you can use those little split shots. That hook was not the hook that you want to use. So if you guys are going to try the, the flare drop shot or whatever the hell you want to call it, don't use that hook. Just use like a, a, a thin one aught hook, maybe a two aught. You could probably go up to a two aught with that with that size of a size of a bait. Anyways, the the technique that I was using today that actually worked, and I didn't show a lot of it in the video because it was just kind of a waste of time. I threw a jerk bait, I threw a spinner bait, I threw a shaky head for about an hour. Um, I threw pretty much everything that I, a jig, a finesse jig, I threw a lot of different things. The thing that worked was that drop shot, the little redneck drop shot rig. And the reason why it worked was because you cast it out there and the weight is on the bottom and then that craw is just going like this and it's just, but it's, it's moving, it's got lifelike action, but it's not, it's not hopping, it's not coming through the water like a spinnerbait. I can hold it nice and steady so the weight's down here, nice and tight line and that craw is just going to kind of float through the water and it sits there and so the bass can see it. There's a lot of vegetation as you saw, I was getting my jerkbait hung up in. So I couldn't throw a jig, something that sat on the bottom because it would get too much moss. So I had a little one and a half foot leader for that drop shot so it would stay above the weeds but still have that lifelike motion without moving too much. And those those bass were just coming and finding that bait. So that was what was happening. I wanted to kind of clear that up in case you guys were wondering how in the heck I was catching fish on that ugly freaking rig. That's how I was doing it. So I could have thrown any probably drop shot, maybe a drop shot worm, anything like that. But if you guys do find open water, if you're in the Midwest, you know, it's getting kind of warm, depending on where you live, where I'm getting, where I'm living, it's kind of like mid thirties to like mid forties every day. And so the ice is not safe. It is not safe at all. And so you're probably going to find some lakes and ponds that are halfway open. If you do find them, try the techniques that you saw me use today. Just a little drop shot. It can be a crock, it can be a worm. It doesn't really matter. Give it a shot. Hopefully you guys catch some fish. Thank you so much for watching and peace. There he is. There he is. Got him. Yeah, buddy. They fight like that. Yeah, they do. And they're, the, um, the little ones will make you think they're way bigger. That's a good size, though. Yeah. There's, there's about a two pounder. That didn't take too long. He uh, he crushed his spinner, baby. He knocked it out of the water the first cast. 